my tasting notes on this were that I definitely picked up a lot more of that pine flavor on the inhale. Urs, you look like you're ready to jump in. What what it are you taking? It tastes up? like our early dating. Interesting. It's funny you say that. I have a lot of uh, memory jump backs on certain flower strains. So it's funny you say that. Fucking weird, man. Is that your first? My first. Like deja vu? Through yeah, weed? I mean, like I've, like I've had that happen with certain scents and stuff, mm-hmm. but not. Yeah, for sure. It's like grandma's cooking. Like you. It tastes good, man. Yeah, it's very smooth. But like it's on my tongue. Like I can. Yeah. Yeah, it's much more of like a piney flavor than scent. It's kind of got like a nice gas, a nice pine, but you still get the spice and the heat from that karyophylline. And like a little umami. Yeah, from the mercy. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah. It, it like all comes together. Um, these terpenes really work great. And also, fun fact about me, I could devour a whole bowl of umami. Just umami. That is true. Pun I- intended. A whole bowl. Ooh, mommy. <laughs> Uh, big Yikes. shout out! Big shout out to Martin O'Brien and Phil over at Foxworthy Farms for getting us set up with this Rainmaker strain. I'm a big fan of it. I'm gonna keep an eye out. It's a really cool name too. And let me tell you, you you're gonna be surprised. Thirty to thirty five dollars. What? Yeah, dude. I, I could easily see this selling for forty five, fifty bucks an eighth. But $30, 35 they're really looking to take care of their patients. And uh, yeah, check them out at PCC in Berkeley. That's a that's a free shout to my boys over there. And if you are in Berkeley, go to Angeline's Kitchen. Oh yeah, Angeline's Kitchen, another oh mm, free shout out. I'll shout them out all day long. Best Southern food cooking you're gonna find in the Bay Area. Angeline's Kitchen. They got hush puppies. Order anything, and it's the best thing you've ever eaten. They got fried catfish. They got honestly. I don't know where else you can find a beignet that's as pillowy and delicious as what they provide at Angeline's Kitchen. It's so good. Check them out. But we digress again. You know, Back if to you're the grass. if you're going to PCC Patient Care Collective to go pick up your rainmaker, smoke a bowl, walk down the road, and get some lunch. You you will not regret it. What's up next, sirs? We got a little sweet treat, man. Oh, an incredible edible. Compliments of our friends over at Punch. Cannabis infused malt balls that are cookies and cream. Yeah, dude. And when I tell you that Big Casino and I love malt balls, holy shit balls. When I first saw this product, I almost didn't want to tell you about it because I'm so selfish and I love malt balls so much, but... I love you more than I am selfish. Spring is coming. It's almost malt ball season. <laughs> Robin's eggs. Shout out to Robin's eggs. Right? Yeah, no, for sure. These are pretty mind blowing. They're 10 milligrams per piece, 10 pieces each, 100 milligrams per package. It's a malt ball. It's cookies and cream. It's fucking delicious. What will they think of next? I mean, I didn't even know that this existed until I, she whipped it out. It's like. The reason we have created this podcast is to figure out things like this. And to bring them to you, the listener. Like, go buy these motherfucking malt balls. Because if you've seen these in a dispensary and haven't bought them, well, now you know you got to go buy them. Yeah. And if you've never seen them before, now you know that, that they exist and there's no going back. But where can they be found? They can be found all over the Bay. Punch Edibles has a huge portfolio. They do cartridges. They got this thing. Uh, big shout out to my boy Bruno Dot Cannabis on Instagram. We don't talk about Bruno. Oh, I talked about Bruno <laughs> on last episode of Quick Sesh. He knew all about the Punch Rockets. It's this infused pre-roll that has uh, live rosin hash in the middle, surrounded by high quality flour. Fantastic product. Fantastic company. Check them out. But let's dive into these malt balls. Okay, so I just uh, took a malt ball out to enjoy. It looks like a cookies and cream malt ball. Oh, my God. Who made this? I need to talk to the person, the individual who made this malt ball. Holy motherfucking shit. It is so good. It tastes like a regular malt ball. This shit's dangerous, bro. Do not eat all 10. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's pretty tempting, though. I probably eat 20 malt balls in a sitting, so 
This is very hard for me, but I'm working on my willpower Bro. through cannabis. It's so good. Yeah. yeah. And like we all know at this point, I think that I'm a little bit more sensitive to the taste of cannabis in an edible. So good. I had the first one a couple nights ago and I slept so well after that. Highly recommend. Definitely go get yourself some punch malt balls, man. How much uh, How much does it run to get a package of these? I've seen them as cheap as 15 to 20 bucks. What? Yeah. Okay, here's, <laughs> here's what you need to do. Okay, and by you, I mean we. Here's what we need to do. Here's okay. our plan. We need to get a bowl, and two bowls. We will get two bowls, one for you and one for me. And we'll put regular malt balls in it with one of these malt balls. I love it. And then we'll eat all of them. How about this? <laughs> We eat that malt ball first, 20 minutes before we eat the rest of the malt balls. I think I got a plan that'll work Perfect for, for the both of us. I can't wait. So again, big shout out to Katie from Punch Edibles. We got more coming from them. I got a concentrate that I'm really liking. Uh, Some stay, other really good goodies. Yeah. Uh, stay tuned for more. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Our details about the giveaway bag. This is one of two that we're going to be giving away. They're a little bit different. They're going to both have similar clothing options and then other swag from multiple vendors that we've met along the way. Tons of stickers for all your sticker needs. A Save the Terps tote bag. A really cool hat pin from LeafWorks. Shout out to LeafWorks. Uh, From our friends over at Rove, we got... A really cool, uh, fashionable face mask. Shout out to Mo from Rove for that. We got two samples of non-medicated fruit slabs. We're going to be covering these on a future episode, so stay tuned for that. Uh, Grape Ape and the OG Mango flavors going in that bag. Big shout out to Lux Rolls, Benjamin Cannon. These things are sick. They look like $100 bills. They're pre-rolls that have a wood tip, reusable wood tip. And uh, you look like a baller smoking one of these. So this is going in. It does not have flour in it. It is just the paper. But our listeners will have their own flour, I'm sure. We also got a couple of lanyards. One from our friends over at Green Line Cannabis. Shout out to Green Line. Appreciate it. Purveyors of the Orange Tree the Upside Down Cake, and Tropicana Cookies. We also have a lanyard from Raw Papers. Looks like a roach clip on the end of that, so that's nice. And the big items in these bags is going to be straight from Full Moon Farms. Big shout out to them. Uh, We got a lot of stuff that we're going to be giving away, compliments of Full Moon Farms, so check them out. We also have an upcoming episode where we're going to be featuring Full Moon Farms Cannabis. So really excited about it. Thank you so much to Full Moon Farms for donating merchandise to these bags. We have a really cool hat. Flip that thing over. Tell our listeners how cool that hat is. It's so cool. It's a sweet little snapback. It's got some trees, like a sunset, or maybe it's nighttime and the moon. Yeah, it's kind of like... It's really cool. It's kind of got that like uh, airbrush feel to it. Uh, very cool hat. We also got a beanie in there for you. A baseball, like what would you call it? Like a uniform t-shirt? Yeah, it's like a baseball tee. Yeah, a baseball tee uh, with the Full Moon Farms on the front and back. And then we got a really good quality hoodie in the pack. So four clothing items. I'd say easily $70 value, if not more, uh, just in clothing alone. So stay tuned for more details coming soon. We'll be posting the details of how to enter the giveaway on our Instagram. So definitely check our posts there. We'll put it in our story as well. Yeah. And two lucky listeners. That's I, I'd be stoked to get one of those packages. So, all right, Urs, hit us with that. No, 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 no cap recap. Oh, dear. <laughs> we, uh, we drank some 19 Crimes Cab. Delicious. And the augmented reality was super cool. We had some Rainmaker from our friends at Foxworthy Farms. Really delicious. Very memorable. Smells great. Super smooth. Definitely go check them out. And then my personal favorite, which is a big call because that wine label was so dope. 
uh, the punch malt balls in cookies and cream flavor. So good. Heck yeah. No, I'm a big fan of all our products this week. We got more coming. We got two more weeks uh, with the 19 Crimes and Behringer Bros. So stay tuned for that. At the end of the two weeks, we'll be featuring one of the Snoop Dogg wines and uh, doing a giveaway. And we hope to hear more from our listeners on our Instagram page. You can email us at weedbetweenthewines at gmail.com. And thank you for letting us help you weed between the wines. Thanks, guys.